witch. Team are the best and the better than the best and the fire team beat your chest. He's a schoolboy football. A team could rise and a team could fall. But they never will know until the whistle blows around. Come enjoy the show. He's a schoolboy football. Fourth official for this afternoon as we take a look at the starting lineup for Foga Road. They are going with a, a 4 3 3 formation. Pristeda Javan Wheatley in goal. Daly Galbert, Javay Cross, and Bernard Clark. They are the back four in the middle of the park. Delton Brooks alongside uh, Captain Brady Reed and Javon McGee. And up top, uh, we have Javon Hales down the middle, and he's flanked by uh, Neon Clark and Nevar Brooks. They'll be hoping, hoping to get amongst the goals for Garo. Look out for the player to watch Nevar Brooks. One goal, one assist to him so far. Hales and Armstrong. The other scores, of course, Armstrong seat on the bench to start this one. For Gavi Maceo, they'll be going with a 3-4-3 formation. Uh, Chris Mar Maxwell is between the six. Orlando Lee, Blake, Robinson and Wilton Williams, the back three. In the middle of the park, we have McKenley, the number three. Uh, Devani McIntosh, number two on the flank. In the middle, Conroy Williams and Anthony Sinclair up top. Uh, Christopher Mundell, you'll know his name. He has a goal to his name so far this season. Clear Clark has six goals to his name. He'll be playing on the right-hand side. And Delana Thompson is the new boy in the number nine. For so the full match highlights. Garvey Maceo, the visitors in their full yellow. On the front foot early, Christopher Mundell into the area. Delana Thompson, the chance to finish, couldn't hit the target. Their number nine went for the acrobatic finish and kicked underneath the ball over the top. Cleo Clark got in his stride, then produced this kind of skill. Just needed a better finish here to keep it under the crossbar. But lovely how he created space and the opportunity for himself. Whoops, onto the right hand side. And the shot a bit disappointing from the leading goal scorer of Gavi Maceo. A strike from way out, over the top from Robinson. And then this free kick with the left foot, clear Clark, seventh of the season. Second against Fogo Road this season. Into the back of the net, weakly, not across in time. And that came after 21 minutes. And this beautiful cross field pass by McKinley, their number three. And the first touch from clear Clark was very good. Then the strike on target, and weakly got enough on it just to pour it over the bar. Fogo Road, they created an opportunity for themselves, probably the only one in that first half, but couldn't hit the target. They had zero shots on target after the first half. That one from Brady Reed, and he just couldn't get it done. Then the start of the second half, and they had two really good chances. This the first. And it was cut down. Brooks into the area. Nice pass it was from Brooks. And just took too long with the finish, did Neon Clark. And eventually, the chance went. Then Brooks again on the left-hand side. This time decided to deliver with the right boot. Look at that for a ball. And what a miss it was. Very disappointing. Fogger Road could easily have been 2-1 up. Within 10 minutes of the second half, it was not to be. Cleo Clark. The best player on show today, using his skill off the upright, looking to bend it into the far corner. The right decision from a man who's played at the Premier League level with Cavalier, Cleo Clark. And it was enough, his goal for three points. So, yeah. Five shots on target from their 14 attempts for Garvey Moseo, the two-time champions. It was enough against the home team, Fogo Road, who just had two shots on target, both coming in the second half, but not good enough, not able to penetrate the goal of Garvey Moseo. Only one goal they have managed in eight attempts against Garvey Moseo. They had four saves, two corners as well, Fogo Road. The majority of the possession went to Garvey Moseo, and all the goals here at Fogo Road High. 1-0 Garvey Moseo after 90 minutes. They confirm their position atop of the group. Let's hear from our water player of the match, who is with Gerard, none other than Cleo Clark, the captain. Thank you so much, Chris. Yeah, Cleo Clark, the water man of the match, about to hand him the trophy. Congratulations to you, Cleo. Yeah. And let me just ask you quickly, though, how much would you rate this performance out of 10? 
Um, I would rate it 8%. 8%? Yeah. Uh, I mean, you, you did see, though, that you had a few chances that you would have created. Of course, you were satisfied with the goal that you would have gotten. But if you look back at the chances you created, what would you have done differently to ensure that you scored more? Well, um, I think I have more space with the ball. Could have bring it further um, and pick a better um, angle. Yeah, you have 42 goals now in your schoolboy football career. Season, uh, career. How happy are you with that and how far are you looking to get? Well, um, I'm pretty happy because I'm... Um, I can say I'm in the, in the book because I have 42 goals in my um, Dakar Star Cup. I think I can bring it further this season. Um, how far do you think you can bring it? A lot. <laughs> All right, Cleo, congratulations to you. Well yeah, done. Congratulations thanks. on the win as well. So that was Cleo Clark, the water player of the matches here now from the coach of Fogger Road. Coach, not the result you would have wanted though, but when you look back at how your team would have played today, how good was it? It was fairly good. Um, I think our goalkeeper made laps and um, cost us a one goal. Um, however, we weren't brave enough. If we were just a little bit braver, um, we could have gotten something out of this goal, this game. We created quite a few um, quality chances that we should have at least scored one today. Yeah, you would have been forced to change keepers. Uh, what do you think about that substitution? How did that work in your favour? Well, the two changes, you know, um, we have quality players on the bench. so. It wasn't as if we're sending out a weaker team with the change because those players are quality players. Um, the goalkeeper has kept like, the first two games for us and he did extremely well. So it's just that he went down last week with the flu, so we just gave the other keeper another game today. But both, goal both goalkeepers are good goalkeepers, so we weren't worrying, just that one got injured, so we pull him out and put in the other. Hi right, coach, one more quickly. You have three more games remaining in the first round. How do you go from here? Well, we're just focusing on the next game, and at three points in the next game is a must for us if we are thinking about qualifying for the, for the next round. I mean, this zone is a competitive zone. Anybody can win on any day. So we really have to just focus on ourselves. And um, if we're able to win the next game, we'll move on from there without even thinking about the final two games. All right, Coach, thank you so much, and hard luck today. Hey, man, you're most welcome. Yeah, that was the coach from Fogaro. Now we have a chat with Mayor Gordon as he embraces his opponent. Coach Gordon, 1-0. Of course, at the start of the game, you would have said that you would have wanted a better result, but are you satisfied with the three points? Definitely. Every coach will be satisfied with three points, but um, I think Fogaro had, had a very, very good um, second half. They came out, you know. But when you're just leading by a goal, especially in, in, a, in a Carinan game, you know, it's going to be always tough. I think they, they did much better than us in the second half. They were more direct than us. Second half, they are more purposeful than us in the second half. I think we, we adapted to their game, and I think that was, was our downfall. Um, first half, I think we have a little bit more control over the game. Second half, we, we, we allowed Foga to, to impose what they want on us, and I think um, they did well, but we're really happy for the three points. Yeah, do you think that you were able to create enough chances in this game, though? Yeah, um, when you're playing a game like this, you have to try and win it from first half, you know, and I think we created a number of chances in the first half that we should have won the game, but, you know, such is a the game. These are youngsters, and I'm really proud of them. Um, I think... The captain today really led from front um, with how he played. Got a few chances that I think he should have buried, you know, with a, a, player, a player of his standard. But we're happy for the three points, happy for the team effort. And we'll just move on. Yeah, you moved to 15 points now, very close to qualifying for the second round. Uh, to 13 points, rather. Uh, they're, they're very close behind you, but do you think that's always going to stay now from here on in just three games remaining? Yeah, man, I think that game that we drew against Kemsil really was, was, was our turning point in terms of letting the game get it in the table be very close. Um, but in, in, this, in this parish, though, you know, any team can turn up and play. Um, I always say that you have teams in this parish who don't come out of the round which I think they would have probably win a, a, a different group, you know, it's a, it's a tough place to play. It's, it's very good for the boys, very competitive, and I really love what today looked like. Um, I think, you know, it wasn't a walkover for anyone, for, for us, you know, it was very, very tough for us. Fogar Road really did well. All right, Coach, thank you so much, and well done today. Yeah, man, thank you. Thanks for having me. Till the whistle blows around, come enjoy the show. Isa, schoolboy football.